Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I want to get started with emptying out the filming basket. We have half. We have half here. Yeah, still a lot in there. So for today's video, gathered a few boxes here that I thought would go together. So we have Chanel, Sephora, Ulta, and the Cosmetic Company Store. First time purchasing there. Yeah, I'm excited for that one. Yeah, my Chanel order finally came in. Yeah, so we have a few goodies here. So some luxury, high-end, drugstore, a few different little things. Yeah. So I just have, I have a few minutes, I have a few minutes. Got a super monster today. Yeah. Took a shower, then had a snack, took a nap just when it was becoming 6 p.m., just before 6 p.m. Then I guess hubby napped sometime while I was napping, and then we woke up almost at 11.30. <laughs> almost at 11.30. Yeah, I had to do all my skincare, brush my teeth, put on, I already had my PJs on, open the sofa bed. By that point, it's already after 11.30, and I was waking up at 1.00. <laughs> Uh, yeah yeah not a lot of time <laughs> but yeah this is what we have for today let's see how far I can get into this I don't think I'll be able to continue this in the afternoon because today is Saturday the start of the work week for me and today is the day I never know what time I'm getting out never this is why we always go over our hours because Saturdays we always have to replace all the products we did not have in yesterday which happens every single week every single week yeah that's what happens when you have managers that don't do their job yeah all right so hi guys welcome back or if you're new hi my name is Maria Jose not Maria not Maria Jose Maria Jose one word so if you guys are interested in seeing what goodies we have in here, then go ahead and keep watching. Alright, just notice here on the camera frame, you actually couldn't see my little tower. Yeah, because this camera has a huge lens, so... This is the max zoom out that we have. So my last camera, you could actually see, see my tower. See my tower. Yeah. All right. So I think I'm gonna get started with Chanel. I'm gonna get started with Chanel. Been waiting for this one because it was supposed to arrive Saturday. Ciao. This time it's a bigger box time it's a square box first time I get that one yeah yeah this is where I have the receipt yeah so I did place this order right when pre-launch happened ship date March 9th yeah All right so you have that I'm excited. So such a huge box for one item. I only ordered one item in here. <sighs> yeah. So. So this would be the Rev de Comedia Illuminating Powder. Illuminating powder, so it's a longer box because there is a brush in there. It's a little brush, Chanel logo. Hmm, because it wouldn't really work for that. Could use it as bronzer. <laughs> yeah. So it does come in the little sleeve. 
been waiting for this to come here to the US. It's been available the other side of the world for a while. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? I love it. Yeah. So I think this guy arrived on hubby's birthday. Yeah, the 21st Monday. Oh, it's so pretty. Looks nothing like my other illuminating powder, which can't even see the CC anymore. I love this one. Love this one so much. So it does get used. It does get used. So I haven't taken any pictures of this one. But it's stunning. Stunning. Alright, I was taking a few pictures. A few pictures. Yeah. So go ahead try not to ruin the center hmm. let's see so I did see Michelle Wong review this and she really really liked it hmm. that looks That looks nice. Oh yeah. That looks really nice. So yeah, this one would be say lighter than the other one. It one's a little bit more gold. So I like that I have different option here. Different option. Then in here usually they put in your samples, which see here thank you for being a low fragrance and beauty client which I saw in my order I was receiving a bracelet there was no pictures of it yeah perfume me with Chanel oh hmm? Hmm. with compliments of Chanel So it's pretty much just a little string with the little camellia flower. Really wish you would have said Chanel somewhere, had a little CC's somewhere. A little cheap, <laughs> a little cheap. But yeah, I wish it had Chanel somewhere. That would have been cuter. Then the two fragrances that I chose, Coco Mademoiselle, and I got another one of these. And then Chance Chanel. Yeah. So just those two. Yeah. So I'm excited for that one. Yeah. Really pretty. Really pretty. Can't wait to try it. Right. So got that one out of the way. And now I have a different size box. Yeah. <laughs> so, got that one. Then, this I'll do Sephora. So, I subscribed my husband. Pretty much added him, made him a beauty insider. Because I missed out on my mother's birthday gift which was February 11th it was too late to get hers and I wanted to get this since his birthday was coming up so I signed him up and I got him his birthday gift so Tatcha it comes with the rice wash soft cream cleanser and the dewy skin cream oh and also a little sample pack of the liquid silk canvas right, so I chose that so, typical size, 10 milliliters, the usual ones I get from Ipsy. Got that. Then the rice wash I saw was longer than the ones I got from Ipsy. Then I checked, this one is 15 milliliters, 0.5 fluid ounces, which is actually smaller than the ones I got from Ipsy. 
just longer. The other ones are wider. Then a little sample. Which when I did try out this sample, I got in a little bottle. This one I did like. I like that one because the original the one in the balm form did absolutely nothing for my skin. Nothing. I wore it. Did not wear it. My skin was exactly the same. My makeup was exactly the same. No improvement. Did get some little samples. Alien Goddess from Moogler. And Toka Julieta. Haven't tried that one, so... Got that. And since he's just a beauty insider, you have to place an order to get your birthday gift. I just added this from Artist Couture Silk Cream Lipstick in Caliente. Which is on sale. Currently on sale for... Let's see here. I think it was $12.60. Pretty sure. First time buying Artist Couture lipstick. I will say in the pictures it looked less red, more orangey. So, yeah. Let's see. Yeah. So this is a red. Kind of looks orange. But yeah, red. Got another red. <laughs> I love me some reds. Yeah, I thought it was more of an orange, but still like it. So just picked that up from Sephora. Let's go ahead and move on to Ulta. Yeah, which part of this order, when I opened it, I don't know if you can still see, still full of highlight. Still full of highlight, completely shattered. I emailed them, I sent them a picture, sent them pictures. They were gonna send me a replacement. I told them send me the replacement if you're going to pack it correctly. They don't listen. They threw it in here. Just the same. Yeah, just like that. Just the item thrown in here and that's it. So completely shattered again the second time. Yeah, have it over there. They uh, gave me a return label so I'm returning both of them. Completely shattered and that item is online only. Went to a different Walgreens yesterday looking for that. They don't even have Physician's Formula. Two different Walgreens and they don't even have the brand. Yeah. So from Physician's Formula, I have the Bread and Butter Bronzer in Toasty, which I think is the lighter one, I think. <laughs> and then also the Matte Monoi Butter Blush. It has multicolored mauve mattes. I have to, yeah, I have to leave now. Got that from Position Corner. Gotta go. Got a restock. Still full of highlights. Oh, yeah. Oh my god, my hands are so dry. The NYX HD Finishing Powder in Banana. Got a restock because I ran out of that a little bit ago. Then also, still everything full of highlights. The last one of the three from Makeup Revolution. This is the face palette. The dynamic face palette in Scorched Rose. Which would be the lightest of the three. I got the darker one and the medium one. Which the medium one sold out. Yeah, it's full of highlights still. Yeah, so this one would be the lighter of the three. So you get a blush any highlights. Yeah, it's a very light blush, but I'm sure I can build, hopefully. Yeah. So I got that. And the reason, main reason for this purchase was this guy from the 21 Days of Beauty, the Tula Skincare Protect and Glow Daily Sunscreen Gel Broad Spectrum FPF 30. Which right here is just the box because I needed this I needed this. I usually apply when I'm getting out of work. Yeah. So I'd gotten this one for 50% off. 18. Yeah. I needed this. 
because I already ran out of the other one. I already started using it yesterday. Yeah, so I guess for now, to be continued, I already took pictures of these guys. I'll come back with some swatches of those. And then lastly, Cosmetic Company Store, which there's some really good stuff in here and really awesome deals. So for now, to be continued. All right, just got home from work and we can continue. I was here watching another video and I started playing. I started playing. Yeah. Ellie Dawson ranking her Glamly palettes. So, yeah, maybe want to play these two from the Burger Slider palette and then this one from MAC. Which I do have an item in there. <laughs> so, yeah. So, we were back with these. I put them all back in here before heading out, rushing out. Probably no, because he's at the gym. Get these out of the packaging again because I put them back in. All right. So the bronzer looks like bread. So yeah, for this one, toasty. It has the dark in the back and the lighter in these little top parts. The other one is the opposite light in the back dark with these squares so hmm because that part is a little bit more raised oh <laughs> it's an overspray the back part so the lighter part is the actual color okay yeah oh that blended in with my skin <laughs> Yeah. Because I didn't think the back part was an overspray. <sighs> yeah, I didn't think that at all. So I guess for this one, just do a little bit of building. Yeah, do some building. A slight scent. Yeah. It's a little bit sweet. Cause it's a little bit different than the regular, like the butter bronzer. It's a different scent. Oh, hubby's home. Ah, no! Let me do the blush. Let me do the blush. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, it's a different scent. Kind of perfumey. So... <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, because I feel like with this one you can customize because this is all swirled together. But since it had an area that's a little bit more peachy, a little bit more mauve, a little bit more pink, brown, I feel like you could get different shades. Let's see. Sticking, yeah, sticking down here, the lighter shades. Yeah, so you can definitely get customized shades with this, which I really liked. So I guess again to be continued tomorrow maybe? We shall see. All right, so day three. <laughs> day three. So again, three days to film this video. And this is why it takes me forever to do a video. So before we get continued with the rest, actually wearing some of the products today so I did try out tried out the bronzer it was actually really nice it's actually quite nice it is light but I like it I like it and you don't want to go in too deep this is a good one and then also the blush wearing the blush today I really like it do like it started out with the whole thing all over and then just concentrated on the bottom part got that I will say for that one the fragrance it's a little bit too much it's a little bit too much the bronzer I can handle but when applying the blush yeah it's a bit too much 
because right now I don't smell it anymore but when I'm applying it it's a bit strong and then also wearing the Chanel highlights yeah I like it I better for 80 bucks <laughs> this was $80 it is really really pretty yeah they've upped their prices because it used to be 70 so now 80 and then also lastly on the lips I am wearing the artist couture caliente yeah a little bit of the color pop the Rudolph lip liner and there you go yeah so the last thing from that haul was this guy the revolution little palette yeah so for this one because for all of them apparently they're blush and highlight but I think this is the only one I can actually use as highlight from all three yeah I will say the blush is light so the medium one works better for me but the highlight doesn't yeah it's light yeah the highlight is really nice but yeah it's light see how that one goes but yeah not sure why they picked those shades for light medium and deeper because they don't really go together the highlight works let me see the other ones blush from the other one works better you see this is the deeper one midnight sands so blush and a highlight then one the medium one is peach heat which doesn't exist anymore yeah so for this one no no because apparently they were blush and highlight for all of them that's what they said blush and blush topper I would say yeah yeah <laughs> I don't know about that one all right so now I have all three I have all three <laughs> for 225 that for 225 so now lastly the cosmetic company store I'm so excited for this one so let me go ahead take these out and then also the receipt because I'm constantly going in there to check if because that was the day it was National Fragrance Day and hubby wanted to see if maybe Tom Ford Tom Ford section was having a sale no no sale on any fragrance everything was pretty much the same but I did see because he did have like three little sections that were Tom Ford I saw one of the sections was completely empty I was surprised there. I kept looking around. Then I saw in the back they had a Tom Ford in the 75% off. Yeah. 75% off section. So, yeah. Alright. So, the first one that I did get would be this guy. So, this is the Tom Ford Lip Color Matte in 09 True Coral. Full size lipstick. So, this one says impassioned. Hmm. It says here impassioned. But, original price is $56 and I got it for $14. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Definitely makes you feel bougie. 
yeah yeah because it has a nice nice weight to it so I got that one then I saw a mini because I really like the color lip color in 2a Taylor so these minis retail for $30 and I got it for $9.50 so it's pretty much the same thing just mini nice little red yeah so that one and then lastly from Tom Ford would be the gloss Lux and 05 frenzy so this one also 56 originally and I got it for 14 oh yeah you can see why yeah this one actually feels feels really nice and heavy really nice and heavy oh yeah first time opening it actually looks looks sticky <laughs> a little bit stringy but yeah Whew. yeah <laughs> you can see why because they had some other shades some more pinkier ones but I need my orange I need my orange I don't think there's a scent to this very slight, 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 slight sweet. Slightly. I want to take pictures of these guys before swatching them. Yeah. And then also, I saw this guy. So I did have on yesterday swatched out the other one. The blue one that I got from Ulta. The other one that I had wanted was the green one. Which that one went out of stock at Ulta. But it was better because it was full price when it went out of stock and the blue one went down to 13 yeah same price as here 1320 which is what i got it for it originally retailed for 22 dollars and this would be ho ho hocus yeah which are the shade shifter duochrome eyeshadow so the green one definitely wanted this one yeah so I got that and then also walking out I saw this which is one guy I missed out on I missed out on I saw at I think this one went to Sawgrass Mills which is a mall about 45 minutes away I had gotten this one which is the glow play blush in that's peachy I'd seen it there we were going to make the line the line was insane insane so I never got it and then I never saw it again anywhere so here was my chance not as cheap as I would have gotten it at Marshall's so this guy originally $31 I got it for $18.60 which I think was $12.99 at Marshall's because I did really like the other one just that formula but I really wanted this shade yeah really wanted this one so yeah because these are kind of like kind of like a putty like a putty so and I kind of treat these like cream blushes in a way so I'm excited for that so let me go ahead take a few little pictures of my Tom Ford's and then do the swatching <laughs> All right, so I took my pictures, got some swatches. Ooh, look at those two. Yeah, so this one is the new one, Ho Ho Hocus I just got, the green one, and then this one is the blue one, Perplexing. Yeah. Oh yeah, so pretty. Yeah, I wanted that green one too. Wiping off my fingers. So, yeah, you had here the gloss Tom Ford. This would be the full size lipstick. The lip color matte in True Coral. Very creamy. Very creamy. 
Then the other one would be the red one, the small 2A Taylor, which that one is not a matte, which is why that one was a lot creamier. Very creamy. Yeah, you have that one. And then you have the blush. The blush, and then the two green one is the one that I just got, Ho Ho Hocus. And then Perplexing for comparison. <sighs> yeah, right now they only have the green one. Only the green one. They did have they did have this one, the blue one, but since I already had it, I was waiting on this one to arrive, and it arrived. Yeah. So pretty. I love it. I love it. Especially that price. So now I have Tom Ford. Yeah. Yeah, I just really, really like those prices. I had to take advantage. Yeah. So I'm happy. I'm happy with happy with these purchases. Just disappointed I couldn't get the highlight. Yeah, I think it was about this size. About this size. The little champagne flutes. Just twice shattered. I've gone to two different Walgreens. They don't carry the brand. So, yeah. I guess I'll just be without the highlight. <laughs> yeah. But that will be pretty much it for today's haul. I will be off tomorrow and Tuesday. So, hopefully I can continue can continue with the hauls yeah because I still have some because I have some ipsy shopper here but I have some other ones still on the way coming so we'll see with that then also I have another shop missy little order yeah another one of those yeah another adept <laughs> yeah had to get that Heather Austin Heather Austin collab had to get that one yeah Alright, so that would be it. Hopefully during editing it doesn't happen again. I don't know what's going on, if it's iMovie or what. Yeah, I had uploaded two videos apparently and they were the second half of the whole video was pretty much just, you know, all weird. Super weird. I redid it again one morning. I checked it throughout the whole editing, like completely detailed. I downloaded it. Well, I exported it and played it back I played it back again it did it did it again which it's not doing it in editing so how am I supposed to know when it's doing it until I export that's the only time so then I had to redo it again and then that time I didn't do it so I don't know what's going on there's always technical difficulties there's always something <laughs> always something hopefully I can get that fixed but that would be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.